Hello, this is Stefan. I'm going to talk about the difference between syntax and semantic on this car, this project. Syntax versus semantic. And I will see difference between each other. So first, I will talk about what is syntax. Before I will, I will talk about semantic. So the syntax is basically um, the structure of a sentence. The structure of a sentence. Whereas the semantic, it's the meaning of the sentence. Meaning of the sentence. So like in an English language, for example, if we say like, Tom eats breakfast. Okay, I'll just write the example. Like Tom will be the subject and it will be the verb. And that's where the structure of the sentence comes in. Tom eats breakfast. Tom eats breakfast. So Tom is the subject and that is in English. The subject is Tom. And it will be the verb. And breakfast will be an object. And that is in English language. In a programming language, we also have the same kind of rule. Like let's say we have C rule for example. Int let's say table. equals zero. Now, the rule of C++, we have data type. That will be the identifier. And that will be the value. So, we consider this valid, a valid syntax. Sans equals like data type, identifier and value because the order matters. Just like in English, the order matters. You will never say eat Tom breakfast because that does not make sense. It does not obey the orders. But this obey the orders, which make it valid. Hence the valid syntax. Valid syntax. Now for the semantic syntax. Let's say we have uh, a different example and on floats uh, and orange equals like three divided by zero. Now that will be a semantic, an invalid semantic. Because in real life, there's no such thing as three divided by zero orange. So the semantic will be invalid. It will just broke the meaning. So, That's like the 
difference between syntax and semantic. Because, like, here we talk about the meaning of the sentence here. And in order for the meaning to work, the structure has to work. So in a way, in order for the semantic to be valid, the syntax has to be valid. So in a way, a valid syntax leads to a valid semantic. Because like in a sentence, whether it is C programming or English program, like, okay, like, let's say, um, one example, like, René, likes likes kicks like in English this is there is a set of grammar rules that the English language has to abide and that is in English when programming is the same thing. Programming like C++ have the same rule. We call it the grammar rule. It usually starts as a start symbol and it usually ends as a terminal combining with a string. And it's actually can be actually have more than one rule. The second rule could be starting at the non-terminal symbol to another non-terminal for the two strings concatenated. And the concatenation is just a combination between two strings. Like we have an example of concatenation, string concatenation. That's one example. So, like A, it's represented as a string. is a non-terminal symbol. Well, as big S is a start terminal because that's the terminal it starts with. So we can have as many rules as, as we want, as long as it builds, that it produces a string. Like this could be the next gamma rule production. And epsilon, this is, this is called epsilon. It's And we could maybe compare it like a node in a binary tree. 
find this it can be also compared as another node in the binary tree and be a could be a vertex like if i can create a binary tree for example here like that would be s and that's an example And this could be A or this could be little A. And like that way you could could easily be this way could be Yeah. It could be the production of the karma rule here because we need this rule to produce this binary tree. Okay, here and I got a little A here. Let's see what time. I have to stop here, so next time I'm going to talk more about the binary tree.